Right, today's trip is going to be a relatively short one. Um, one is reason is yesterday we were out there and there was lots of bass. They suddenly showed up. The trouble is when you see them quite often, you don't catch them. Uh, that was the case. Uh, we landed one and then you just couldn't catch anything. So there's that. I'm just going to go and see if there's anything feeding today. Of course. The other thing is, is I've only got one can of fuel with me. Um, Sunday yesterday, forgot about it. I remember it was late. I was trying to do anything special. There's a lot of stuff going on. So, um, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty most of the can into the main can and I'll leave a litre or two litres in the can enough to get me home. So, I always do that if I'm at that low because then if we suddenly run out of fuel, we can just pull that in and go home. If you put it all in and your mind goes or you use up more fuel than you thought, end up running out of fuel. Now I do have the spare, the spare is fueled up as well so that's a, that's like a last resort to put the reserve on. But I'll just keep it that way we won't run out. We should have plenty for the trip out. I mean it's I don't tend to I mean I'd use that in a well just over that in a in a whole sort of session like longer than what we're gonna be doing so but like I said we're only going out for a trip it's anything like yesterday it won't be a long trip because of the, uh, the fact the fish just weren't feeding. We may check a couple of pots over that way because I fresh baited them yesterday and chances are they'll be full of spiders if they got fresh bait. So even just to clear the spiders out of the pot. Right, let's get going. Waitrose. on the rock, judging by what's in here. One little brown crab, and another tiny one. I've gone through my bait already. Maybe size. Nice big crab, but female, so we'll let it go. Still probably be carrying eggs. This lobster might be sizing. I think it is. We'll check it after. Wow, the bait's all gone. I only baited these yesterday. They're just absolutely destroying the bait lately. Well, I've got a bit of conger and a bit of rockfish now. This is tougher stuff. We only had pollock in here, so it's expected.
Now normally these would um, quite often get a nice lobster in here, but with the amount of spiders that I've been catching here recently, I reckon we're probably going to be looking at a lot of spiders. Let's find out. Hopefully big spiders. Again, more huge crabs. Well, got a little angry here. Get him up. Little one. That's a big one. Big crab. A normal day that's a good crab right but this ain't a normal day this is one of those really nice days for crab the trouble is it's getting them out how they get in so easy is a mystery much bigger when they go in the pots. I mean this thing is huge. Absolutely huge. Probably five and a half I'd say. I don't know if it makes six. Six normally you have to really struggle to get them out of the pots like they wedge in the neck. But that's probably five and a half pounds. Absolute gem, that one. I right, say, so look at it on the box. I could probably get three of those in there, or four maybe, if I'm really lucky. And that one is still, like I say, a big crab. In fact, that probably gives it more perspective, actually. So, big crab, huge crab. One day he will be that big, maybe, possibly, hopefully. And a lobster. Just a wee one. Ah, I had rockfish in this, these pots as well. One of my favourites.
one, I'm not sure. That one might even be bigger than the last one. Wow. We've really uh, hit the spider spot this year. The big spider, anyway. I can go straight back to dropping them once I got this crab out. opening on the trap anyway. This crab almost fills a pot up on his own. Another absolute giant. Another, like I say, good five and a half that. I mean, today's crabs are just huge. I was expecting some crab though with the uh, with the nice fresh bait. So that ain't gonna fit in there, or is it? Oh, only just. Right. There we go. I'm not going to get another one in there, though. Okay. In, which sometimes works. You don't get a lot close in when you push them close, but you get your decent lobster now and again. Probably because you're getting too shallow or too high up the rock. Catch, simple as that. Right, let's see if the next pot's managed to do the business. Maybe this one's got the conger in it. <laughs> Is 
there's no room in my toolbox now. Yeah. Perfect place, baits hopefully in the perfect spot. back home now these are the couple of really big crabs we had um, I um, could be asked to change the battery at the end to do the final thing but I put a couple in the store pots a little bit smaller than this and we had one small lobster in these so, but I'm very pleased about these I mean these are these are as big as they get when it comes to the pots you can get a little bit bigger but much bigger, they just don't, they just don't fit in those necks. <laughs>